convicted sex offender will not spend time behind bars. Brent Giroux was in court today. His sentence, sex offender treatments, and life on probation. Fox 42's Maureen Wirtz joins us now live with more on the sentence that has some officials worried. Maureen? Emotions were running high in court today, and it was standing room only. Now, Giroux is no stranger to court. Just last March, he was charged with 89 counts of sexual abuse. And back in November, Giroux reached a plea deal, guilty, on just three counts. Today was his sentencing, and though a year-long ordeal came to a close, many are frustrated and say justice was not served. I just want to say that I'm very sorry for the confusion in the lives that I've caused. That's a statement Brent Giroux made in court today publicly apologizing to his victims. This court is obligated to make its decision based upon the law. Giroux looked out during the case, and the prosecution said, we're seeing two different people, or two different sides of a coin, a bad side. We got a guy that used his position as an elder in this church. A good one, the apologetic one. He was trying to say all the right things so he could get probation, so. That's what he received. Giroux was put on lifetime probation. And if he is to violate his probation, he'd head straight to jail. Symbolically, to not make the trip to prison to the average Joe on the street or the average kid out there, it looks like, oh, he got probation. You know, it kind of minimizes things. Not just you. The judge said he was looking out for society and Jero, but some say he overlooked one important thing the victims. It does a disservice for any other victim who wants to come forward because of what's, what's been done today. The two worry the light sentence may discourage other victims from coming forward. My worry is that people will look at this as a slap in the hand. As Giroux left the courtroom, people were quiet. It was the end of a two-hour-long verdict, a year-long trial, and years spent dealing with the abuse. All that time adding up to what some say should have put Giroux behind bars. Now, Giroux has 30 days to appeal the decision, but if he violates his probation ever, he could go to jail for up to 17 years. Reporting live, Maureen Wirtz, Fox 42 News. A convicted child molester will spend